Good morning. Welcome back to Sequoia National Park. Today is a very exciting Kings day Canyon. and not because... What? Kings Canyon. Kings Canyon slash Sequoia National Park. <laughs> we're camping in the Kings Canyon section, but we're going to go to Sequoia National Park today. Anyway, today is a very exciting day, not because it's going to be a super grand adventure, but because we are going to see the biggest living organism on Earth. That's pretty exciting. As right now, we have our oats with cinnamon, chia seeds, coconut, milk, water, honey. honey, and we're enjoying the campsite. It's nice and sunny. It's a beautiful, peaceful day. And for the most part, off, other than seeing the tree, we're just going to like hang out today, take it easy, just because I think we need the rest as well. Um, I am looking forward to it. <laughs> been a good two hour reading relaxing session and now we're off to go check out the general store um, also to see if we can find a postcard for this national park um, and then after that we're gonna head to the big tree we stopped at the store got our mandatory postcard and I also find this giant pine cone I don't know how they get so big here but now we're on our way to see the General Sherman, which is the biggest living thing on Earth. I stand corrected in the tree that we're about to see. I thought we were seeing General Sherman tree, but we're actually seeing the General Grand tree first, which is the second biggest tree in the world. And I think it's also the widest or the biggest diameter tree in the world. So that's gonna be a cool photo to stand next to it and just see it ginormous. Now we are doing the Grant Loop Trail, which takes you through this giant grove of all the giant sequoias. And just already, it's insane to see the scale of these. And again, it's sad that I can't really show you the scale on camera until we get like one of us standing next to the tree for scale, but it seems like they're all fenced off as well. And we kind of want to respect that in not going up towards the no, trees, we don't unless we can. Want to. We are that, that's what I mean. But like, that tree right there is like a skyscraper in itself. Just take a second to read this sign. And this is what we're seeing right here, is that people used to sleep under this tree. This is crazy. It's just like a whole nother room in here. This is like a keyhole. This, this is like a cave. Yeah. This is Tree cave. cave. Huh? It's also like the doorway entrance to the main section. Oh, you know what would be so cool? What? If we had a wine cellar and this was like, we made the entrance look like this. That would be cool. That would be so awesome. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. Add it to our cabin. We like just skipped half the trail. We are walking among giants. If you look closely in this picture, you can see that those are people right there just showing you the scale of this tree. Look at that fireplace. Wow. Yeah, imagine living here. I would love that. So we have found the General Grand Tree and we were both mistaken in that it's actually the third largest tree in the world, which I thought it was the second. But what I did know it is it is the widest known sequoia at 40 feet across, which is just crazy, which is 12 meters for those of you that use the metric system. But just look at some of these facts. And this is what we have right here. Again, it's so difficult to see the scale, but 87 meters tall with a 12 meter wide base. It's just crazy. As I've said countless times, you can't really tell the scale of these trees. So if anything, I hope that this video 
inspires you to come see them for yourself. If you are around the area or you're in Yosemite and you don't necessarily have a trip planned out here, but you're close enough, it's definitely worth a visit. Why are you eating all the dinner before it's made? Because it's freaking good. Here. Look at that. That is restaurant policy. Can you please stop eating no. dinner before we eat dinner? Why? Because I want to save it for dinner. This is dinner. Quinn's <laughs> the worst. Whatever. We're like unconventional in every other way. So why does this matter? Like, how can you not want to eat that right now? Oh, a web. Another good, very healthy meal, right? Mm -hmm. Chicken, broccoli, and potatoes that are cut finely that are more like chips than potatoes, but very good.